Some of the hottest spots in Pinellas County are under the water. Over the past 30 years, the Pinellas County Reef Program has transformed more than 50,000 tons of concrete and other approved materials into new habitats for marine life on the floor of the Gulf of Mexico. These artificial reefs are man-made underwater structures built with clean, inert material to promote the underwater ecosystem. Pinellas County has created a series of artificial reefs from 200 yards to 38 miles off the coast. There are 13 offshore reef sites and 29 inshore reefs. Where nature has provided, as you see here in the Florida Keys, reefs serve as important habitats that offer food, shelter, and spawning areas for marine life, supporting a whole food chain for prey and predator species alike, and supporting commercial and recreational industries as well. Where nature has not provided, man has built his own. Building artificial reefs goes back to the times of the Persians and Romans, usually for military purposes. And the earliest recorded use to improve fishing in the United States goes back to the 1830s, when logs from huts were used off the coast of South Carolina. Since then, all kinds of things have been used to make artificial reefs in various places, including cinder blocks, planes, army tanks, New York City subway cars, small boats, and big boats, like the Navy aircraft carrier USS Oriskany. Much of the sea floor in the Gulf of Mexico, offshore from our world famous beaches, is very flat and sandy. So, much like creating an oasis in the desert, the Pinellas County Artificial Reef Program placed structure in these areas that are devoid of natural live bottom to create habitat for marine life, as well as provide opportunities for fishing, diving, and underwater photography. Well, I've been in the charter boat business for 23 years, and this is absolute uh, one of the treasures of Pinellas County. Uh, it contributes to my livelihood by creating structure where the fish are concentrated. Uh, it makes for areas that we can go to to catch bait, and there's a, a general all-around uh, benefit to the Gulf of Mexico and also the industry that uh, the artificial reefs are here in place. The treasures, man, are terrific. You know, we need more of it. Items such as concrete pipes, steel beams, or entire ships are carefully placed on the ocean bottom. Within about two weeks, algae and barnacles attach to the reef material. Soon, fish come to feed on these creatures. Within a year, the reef begins to support coral growth. The reefs divert usable materials from the waste stream. First, all materials are carefully screened to make sure they are safe and non-polluting. Items are inspected to ensure they weigh at least 500 pounds and have adequate structural integrity and durability. Demolition debris and leftover construction materials make up the bulk of the artificial reefs. Concrete works very well since it is durable, stable, and safe for the environment. Items such as concrete culverts, columns, power poles, and pilings have been transformed into underwater cities for fish. For example, the Rube Allen Reef includes 600 tons of concrete from the old Clearwater Bridge demolition. In addition to concrete, reefs have been constructed from steel structures such as beams and also from vessels. Ships and barges are popular with recreational divers and also serve to attract a variety of fish due to the complex structure and high vertical clearance. Some of the more unusual items used to supplement our reefs include a bomber airplane, 10 surplus army tanks, and two World War II Navy landing ships. Each reef is designed with different size openings to attract a variety of fish, including grouper, snapper, grunt, mackerel, amberjack, cobia, barracuda, and baitfish. The South County Reef site off St. Pete Beach features a 100-year-old 80-foot tugboat named Orange. The tug is a popular curiosity for divers. The Pinellas II Reef has three vessels, including the U.S. Coast Guard cutter Blackthorn, a steel barge, and the tugboat Sheridan. Many divers consider this area the best wreck dive in West Central Florida. For more information on the Pinellas County Artificial Reef Program, visit PinellasCounty.org reef 
or phone area code 727-464-7500.